of Skype's co-founders, Jan Fries, along with MSN Messenger developer, Jonathan Christensen, have launched a new project called Wire. Given user disbelief in the early stages, due to the dominance of similar projects on the market, Wire was able to turn around skeptic opinions rather quickly. Along the road, it was of course backed by many talented executives, such as Pridu Zilmer, an excellent designer, and one of the top media compression experts, Cohen Voss. And when you have the support of such high-caliber specialists, you can control your agitation and worries, if not abandon them completely. Wire's positioning is actually quite simple. The creators are confident that when it comes to means of communication, their brainchild is as modern and advanced as it gets. Well, why don't we just see how truthful Wire's statements are? Let's talk pros. The developers stressed that their main focus was on the design of the app, arguing that no one gets blown away by simple functions anymore and that the time has come to give functional benefits and the sensation of using the app equal weight. Worth noting that the Messenger's original minimalism style really does look great. You only need to provide a login and an email address to register, making this formal process significantly easier. Your phone's contact list will help the app find your friends. You can trace Wire's focus on the user back to the very first steps. The background can be adjusted to match your avatar's color so that all elements are in harmony and create a single composition. Additionally, the app takes care of your phone's battery, consuming it quite moderately. In-app navigation is also very pleasing. Swipe to flip pages and tap to find your way around a rather basic menu interface. A simple yo notification seems like a trifle, but it saves a great deal of time and reminds you that someone does care. It's nice when modern messaging apps don't disdain to spend time on such minor but atmospheric elements. Shared YouTube and say SoundCloud links look very at home and organic. They are well displayed and let you listen to music without leaving the app. The creators themselves claim that they took into account the maximum capabilities of the latest versions of the iPhone and Android devices. It's definitely a plus that the app supported group chats, high quality audio calls, and the possibility to share media ever since it first became available. Make Makes sense given the fact that Wire needed to justify its high aim self-proclaimed reputation. Video calls in turn have gone through an extensive user testing process. Wire's cross-platformness is surely an advantage. So according to Wire's management, users of all platforms can breathe a sigh of relief. If your platform still doesn't support Wire, the situation will soon change. The application is free and therefore anyone and everyone is welcome to get personally acquainted with the aforementioned benefits without spending a single dime. However, the up-and-coming project of Skype's former team couldn't go without any drawbacks. What are Wire's disadvantages? Depending on the selected interface background, messages can blend with each other, causing confusion. That is to say that phrases aren't properly separated, and as a result, you have a hard time understanding the convos and finding out who posted what. The application has come under criticism because it often closes for no reason. Anyone would agree that call termination caused by an app error is one of the worst case scenarios. The app is inferior to similar apps security-wise. After all, endpoint voice call encryption just can't guarantee an adequate level of security. Thanks for watching this review. Communicate in real life communicate online, and see you soon.